Hi, in this video I'd like to show you some Camtasia tricks for just working with your timeline. Okay, so the timeline is the collection of tracks down here. You have various assets like movies, still images that you're, over, that you're overlaying the movies. Sometimes you have audio tracks on here. Okay, so each one of these tracks is a, a separate asset of some sort. It, clicking on the little eyeball here will make that particular track disappear or reappear in the preview up here and then again if you leave it clicked in the eventual rendered movie that you create. The little lock symbol will lock it. It'll put all these little ver uh, diagonal bars here to make sure you remember that so that you can't keep tinkering with it. And this is a good thing to do if you have something set exactly how you want and you don't want to mess with it anymore. Okay, so this uh, timeline marker here is very useful. It tells you if you have it at a specific spot and you hit spacebar, that's where it's going to start playing from. Okay, and it has two little ends on it right here, a green one and a red one. So if you highlight a particular area and if you click play now, it's just going to play within that highlighted area. The zoom buttons here will zoom in and out. That's, that's very useful. And this other kind of zoom down here in the corner zooms the size of the tracks. Sometimes you want to view the tracks as much larger. So, for example, you can see the um, audio profile and then you can resize it and so on. So, for example, you might want to cut out like this little spike here. Maybe it's me saying um or something like that. Okay, so let's talk about different ways to edit. Uh, if you've highlighted some tracks, one or, in this case one or both tracks, and you click S, it will split the tracks or s splice the tracks at that, at that point. Okay, so now I, can, I could paste something else in there after I move it to the side. If you want to cut out a section, so highlight that section with your marker here, and then if you click the delete button, it'll highlight that and it'll leave the blank space. Okay, if instead of if instead of um, clicking the delete button, if you were to hit Control X on Windows or Command X on, on a Mac, it will not only delete that space, but it'll collapse it. So you don't have to delete it and then shift the tracks back to the uh, joining up against the, the part just where you deleted from. So, uh, so remember, Control X will collapse after it deletes, and just clicking delete will just delete the sections of track. Okay. Another thing that's quite useful is inserting time. Sometimes you have a break point and you want to put a picture in or something like that, but you need to pause. So you highlight the amount of time that you want to insert. It's going to start at the green little marker here, and you click right click and you put insert time and then now you'll have a little blank space you could put something else into the tracks there so that's some very quick tricks and uh, or just the actually more just the basic functionality of working with the timeline in Camtasia uh, there's some icons to do it but I think you're probably better off learning the keystrokes uh, as or as many of the keystrokes as you can